So I called you to this meeting today because due to budget cuts, we're going to have to start using plastic guns. What, Glocks? No, like plastic guns. Oh. What's up YouTube? Welcome to Gunmeister. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing an experiment. Whoa, well, I know what you're thinking. Experiments are boring. I don't like watching them. And I would agree with that in most situations. But not when you're shooting a 50 BMG out of a freaking flare gun. Check it out. The flare is uh, kind of a tapered 12 gauge. It fits down in there, you close it, you pull the trigger, the flare pops out. Great. The way they've got these set up is they will not chamber a uh, standard 12 gauge because there's a little rim inside there. See, it, you just, it won't work. But as luck would have it, it chambers a 50 BMG like a glove. I did find a video online that they were trying to shoot a 50 BMG out of this flare gun. I did bear through 11 minutes of it and uh, this thing never fired out of this. The difference is this is the Gunmeister and we get shit done. I'm just gonna shoot this one flare into a gallon of water. I just wanna see what it's gonna do and then we'll, we'll move along. Just get right into it. Well, that was uneventful. That's, that's about it. Not very exciting. So let's go back over the bench and talk some more. But I want to show you one thing because I think we can actually learn something from this. This is a 12 gauge slug. It's a one ounce slug and that works out to 437.5 grains or 438 grains for the layperson. This is a 50 BMG. This is 660 grains. So there's a big difference right there. All right. But what I think we can learn from this is that penetration is key. If you don't have deep penetration, you got nothing. So here's what we're going to do. I've got these slugs loaded up in this magazine right here. And I've got the TriStar KRX 12 gauge right here. I'm going to go over here and just for a base point, just so that we can see where we're at, I'm going to have like six water jugs and shoot this slug into them and see how deep it goes. Then what we're going to do is load up this flare gun and load the 50 BMG in here and shoot at six water jugs again and see which one goes deeper. Penetration key it's always key so I'm going to shoot one of those uh, slugs into these six water bottles keeping in mind this is a much smaller cartridge than the 50 BMG let's see what happens one of the things that's going to happen is we're about to get really wet yep got wet let's see what we got it's the first water jug complete and total destruction look at that Went through this one, right here. This two. This is the third one. Went in. Uh, doesn't look like it came out though. Just went in. And these three, perfectly fine. So, we know that the uh, one ounce slug, we'll go through three of them, but that's it. Let's get that set up and we'll try the 50 BMG. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna run the string way back here, pull the string, Boom, it's gonna fire the cartridge and we're gonna see how many of these it goes through. Hopefully the projectile even comes out. Uh, velocity is everything. And without a barrel, you don't have much velocity. So let's go ahead and get this set up. Let's go ahead and load the uh, 50 BMG. Nice and tight. Fire in the hole. On three. One, two, three. Look at here. All right, look what we got. That literally just landed to the side of my car. Nasty. Let's go see what it did to the jugs. There's a lot of powder burn right here. Lots of powder, almost like a shot, like a bird shot. We got a little bit of uh, casing down here. Oh, look at this, look at here, look at that. There it is, 50, look at all the powder in the back. Pristine. Okay, so basically when this came out, it literally, you can see right here where it hit, it just kind of hit right there and bounced back and landed right over here. Yeah, I don't know that I'm even going to be able to get that out. The primer bulged like crazy. 
like it bulged back out right there. Good hit, good center hit. Let me show you why this did what it did. The bullet goes into the chamber, and if you look, it's fully supported all the way around, okay? Then when you put the bullet into battery, so to speak, the back of the bullet butts up to the breech right there. So what that does is it literally holds the bullet all the way around and the back so tight that this can't burst. And the energy wants to take the easiest point of resistance. So at that point, when it's inside of a barrel, the easiest way for this energy to escape is to push the projectile out. It travels down the barrel, and as it goes down the barrel, it builds velocity. That's what gives you your speed and velocity. In this case, what happened was there was no barrel. There was no support for this part right here, okay? And with this being as big as it is, what happened was the energy found it easier to blow up this brass casing right here, right? That was the easier way. So literally, without a barrel, um, bullets have little to no velocity. Again, they're basically like a big firecracker or a uh, small pipe bomb. Don't try this at home. I'm highly trained in... Uh, who the hell am I kidding? No one's trained for this kind of crap. But anyways, now we know what happens when you shoot a 50 BMG out of a flare gun. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Gunmeister. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting. We'll see you guys next time on the Gunmeister. Probably gonna need to pick up a fire extinguisher or two. You're not doing that around me again. Holy shit. Well, next time something's flying at you, you gotta get out of the way. <laughs>